Hey what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video today we're gonna build a cargo ship and it's huge it's suggested by these people right here thank you a lot for all the comments it really does mean a lot to me all the support and everything all the likes comments subscriptions and everything we've been growing a bit which is amazing and I can't thank you enough for that now let's get into this video by the way if you want your comment to be featured in the video in the next one leave a comment down below and if your build gets chosen then I will put you in there so as you just saw I made the whole framework of the lower half of the boat already like we're going really really fast now please note that this build took me like two hours so it's a bit on the long side I think this time lapse is gonna be like 15 minutes which is kind of long if you think about it because this is sped up by about 10 times so it's it's kind of long now I'm just making the basic shape of where the boat is gonna hit the water if you want to make a similar boat to this one, then I can tell you that it's about 31 blocks wide and it's about 160, give or take a couple blocks, blocks long. And then from the water until the deck is about 12 blocks. So that way you can sort of build along if you want to make something that is similar to this. But I highly encourage you to not copy me one by one. A lot of people actually ask me that. They're like, how can I follow this? It's way too quick and you don't show everything. And that's true because I don't want you guys to follow this block by block. I just want to give you inspiration and I want you guys to be able to do this by yourself. Not following anything. You just want to like use your imagination and do things yourself. And trust me, it turns out way better that way and you actually learn something. It's way cooler. So on the left right here, I'm making the basic shape of the front of the boat, which is going to be pretty cool. Now at the bottom there, I'm going to copy that line and paste it up there on both sides, just so that it's the exact same line. And then in between, I'm going to connect that later on. So just change it into a darker color and we're going to connect this line here to the other side of the shell of the ship. And that's going to basically be uh, where the deck is. And then you have that front part, which is always a bit higher on the boat. I'm not entirely sure why or for what it is but it's it's there now in order to fill this whole thing up on the front here I'm gonna use the line tool to basically give me some lines that I can work with now this is obviously not gonna be the exact shape because it's lines and you, we want something that is more round so I'm definitely gonna adjust this later on so here I'm just filling up the little gaps in between so we can have a, a shell that we can work with and make everything nice and smooth and I'm just gonna do that randomly all over the place because this is something that you learn over time it's it's not that easy to do but it's also not that hard if you have it down it's not really that hard so now we have a very square look what I do here is I add on the bottom and I remove on the top to make everything look way smoother and you want to make everything look into a smooth line and slowly but surely this is transforming into something that looks quite nice and smooth and this actually does take a while to do because it's all manual and you can use like roll edit trickery and voxel for this but doing things by hand usually is the way to go for for these types of things if you have like terrain and stuff that's where you use voxel but here in like a shell of a ship I would just do it by hand and then you copy it over to the other side so that you have the exact same uh, sides because that's something you want to do um, if you don't have rolled at it well then you can do the same thing on the other side it's just gonna take way more time I just do this to skip some time so here we're gonna go to the back of the boat fill in the whole side over there and do the same thing I just did on the front now this one is a lot easier and I'm also just connecting the outer points to to the bottom of the ship and these cargo ships actually have something really cool they stick out out of the water on the back there I didn't even know about that until I looked up some couple pictures and just like the front area you want to make this round and use your hands or like tools to click on the corners and make everything nice and smooth because you don't want like square lines on a boat you don't want that now we got to fill up everything and I also use roll edit for the majority of this like this whole patch over there boom roll edit quick and easy then the backside very easily filling it up and you might notice I'm only building half of the ship I basically split it in half and I'm making the left side because if you have roll edit there's no reason to build two like symmetrical sides one by one like you just want to flip that over and make everything way quicker and easier for yourself so now I'm just filling in the deck 
And yes, the inside of the ship is not something that I did right here. I did like a little bit on the top, like the captain room, but nothing in like the, the shell or anything. So if you want that, well, you gotta use your imagination a little bit for that. It's not super hard. Here you go, I switched over the ship, I flipped it, and boom, now we have a full ship with shell and everything, and it looks amazing. And we can finally start working on, like, the top part of the ship, and everything that is put onto it. Now here's just a little, like, barrier to block off where the cargo is from the front, and I'm gonna actually start lining out where the cargo is gonna go. Now first I started with 2x2, two two, and I think 6 blocks long which um, translates to 2 meters by 2 meters by 6 meters and I thought that was kind of small because a person is about almost 2 meters usually like 1.80 and if you compare a person to like a big container I think you should easily be able to fit in there so I, in the end I actually uh, made them 3 by 3 and that is something I changed later on but first I'm gonna make the whole housing area of the ship well not housing area but like the captain room and where all of the staff is and everything and it has kind of a lot of floors like I did not expect this how high this actually goes like it has like six stories in total I think which is crazy and it has a staircase on the outside and some cool bits on the top that you'll see in a second and it's just a very cool building and the blocks I used for this is the pillow quartz for the wall material and then for the roofing I used just a normal slab which fits really well together and I actually wanted to have this little like pattern in the walls because it, it really does look like something that a ship would have which is kind of cool. Now this captain room at the top here is going to be expanded by a bunch to the left right now. There you go, because it was so small, like I didn't even know how anyone would fit in there and not get claustrophobic, because I would be. <laughs> now we're gonna work on the sides of this thing, and I have no idea what this is when I'm building right now, but I saw it in pictures and it looked awesome, so it's on there right now. Now this is gonna be a staircase on the outside, and it's gonna be copied over once again. This whole thing is symmetrical, so I'm just gonna make one side and copy it over to the other. So this is five floors, I believe, and only two or three blocks high, two and a half, basically. And it's very, very tiny, and you don't have lots of space here. So you gotta work with what you have, but I made a little staircase that actually works. You can walk a bit. It's very tiny, though, and it's, it's not that big, but it does work. You can walk a bit. Now, in the corners, I put some cobblestone walls just for some support because it looked kind of like it would break down, and we don't want that, of course. Now, let's go to the inside of the little captain room and just basically put stuff down, like buttons and levers and furnaces to make it look like something is actually happening in there, even though it's very, very plain. Like, I could put in a lot more, but that's fine. Now, these cargo ships have lots of random windows, at least the pictures that I saw. I'm basically basing this off of one similar ship, and I took a couple pictures of the ship, and then I'm just basing it off of that. And that particular ship had a lot of windows just randomly placed. Like, there was no symmetrical order to them or anything, and it's very OCD unfriendly. But in a way, I could handle it, and it actually looked quite nice not to have it, like perfectly lined out, it makes it look kind of unperfect, if you know what I mean. Now, the things that I'm going to be placing on the top of this building probably do have a use, but I don't know how to explain them or anything, so I'm just randomly making, like, piping and more stuff that comes out and basically looks really cool, and just some basic, like, pipes for chimneys or, for example, some instruments like a radar or anything that needs, like, uh, a high advantage point that probably is up here somewhere. I don't know. It just looks cool. I put down a ton of iron bars and I actually also created two new windows because obviously these people need to look behind them as well. They don't just look forward, but they have to look behind them as well. Copied that whole thing over to the other side and that little building is basically done and it was pretty easy to do. I don't know why, but I had a lot of trouble making all these containers. Like first I picked out a bunch of colors but I actually figured out that ships like these, they don't have like containers that are in all different colors of the rainbow. So I just, like you just saw, I made everything into random colors and I was trying to do that for a bit. But then I realized I need to make like a little palette of about like four or maybe five colors that I would use all over the place. And I actually ended up making little schematics for them which made it really easy. So I made a little schematic and then I could paste it anywhere I wanted to. And you'll see that in a second right here. I'm just experimenting and copying and pasting this all over the place. 
but it's just not working. Like, I, I spent way too much time on this. I think I was sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how it could best do this whole ship of containers because it's gonna take a while to do all of this by hand or actually paste them one by one. I needed to do this in like a batch form so I would make like a 3x6 container area and then copy that over and then maybe make some variations to it so that it doesn't look that much copied anymore. And that is actually what I ended up doing. So here I'm just randomly making a 3x6 area and I'm only doing the outside of course because you don't see the inside container so why would I make them, right? I don't have to make stuff that you won't see. So I just made the front and those are literally just like walls, like they're, they're not actually containers, which is fine. So we're gonna copy that thing, copy it over to the left, copy it about like three more times and then on top of that as well, make it higher. This is a really cool process by the way. And now what I have to do is to just make this look different. So I actually ended up putting a bunch on the front there as well just to make it look a little bit different and now I'm just taking away containers and I'm gonna actually move containers as well. So there's gonna be containers that are moved one block to the right or one block to the left and just that little tiny detail makes it look a lot better instead of just having like a plain copy of containers and now it actually looks a lot different. It looks like they're placed one by one instead of in batches of like three by six by three which is super super fast. So the front here needs to be adjusted a little bit as well. There's a couple ones that are going to be weird and like slanted a little bit and not in the right position. There you go. So just put some random ones down and move them over by one really, really easy. Now this ship of course needs a fence all the way around so people don't jump off in the water or fall off or anything. Just some simple tiny details. And you could of course make this ship much better by adding just way more detail and anything you want to. But for me, this was okay so far. I really liked uh, what I did so far. Now on the front here, this is more imagination than actually practical use because I have no idea what this thing would do. I have no idea. But it's some antenna of some sort um, or radar or anything. But I just made it look really awesome. That's my plan here. I just wanted to look really cool and I think I succeeded in that. It looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna make another one on the front in a second but first we're gonna go around and make the shell of the ship look not so new, a little bit old I would say. Now this rain actually looked really really nice and um, but it's hard to see so I didn't record doing that. So I'm just placing little patches of discolorment so places that are actually less bright or a little bit darker and it looks a lot better instead of just having a single color go all over the shell. Now a little area where you could like walk down a basic staircase because of course how else would you get on top of this right here? I copied that over and I made some doors there and we're putting some pipes down just some random details that don't really make sense a lot like it doesn't have to make sense as long as it looks cool you know what I'm saying like it looks cool and that's what I'm happy about. Now of course these this ship needs an anchor and that's what I'm building right here. So we're making one just with some brown clay and I'm using some slabs to make it look a little bit more smooth and it actually turned out really well. Copied over to the other side and that is done. Now here's that other little statue thingy that I was talking about. I don't know what it would do but it looks amazing so I'm keeping it right there. Now you know that the last thing I do is always my buttons. I love my buttons all over the place and you can say what you want about the buttons, but it makes it look much better. You add these little like points of detail to something and it's like screws sticking out or like a plate that got loose or anything. It can be anything and that's what I like. Now I put a button on all the containers as well, basically as a, as a handle for the door. So that's why they're on both sides of the containers and it looks it looks pretty nice. Now like I was saying with quartz, that is supposed to be the name of the ship. But because this is in Minecraft, of course, we have one by one meter blocks. I can't really make uh, like letters out of that. But guys, that is it. This was the build. Thank you so much for watching. This took me two hours to build alone. And it was such, such hard work. But it turned out really well. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comment down below if you want me to build anything. And I'll put you in a video. Also, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.